Hi, this is Nancy from Life's Blessings and Homeschool. For those of you who don't know me, uh, like I said, my name is Nancy and I'm a homeschool mama of two kids, Joelle, who is six, soon to be seven, and Dulcie, who is five years old. So this school year, Joelle will be going into second grade and Dulcie will be starting kindergarten, although we've already done a lot of kindergarten things with her last year. So. Um, her curriculum may be a little bit more uh, kindergarten slash first grade. But today we're going to be talking just about Joelle's curriculum uh, for second grade. So uh, I hope you enjoy this video. And if you do, I ask that you please give us a thumbs up before you leave us. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We don't just talk about homeschool in this channel. We also do Bible devotionals. Um, sometimes I do recipes and uh, we talk about wellness and you know things like that so if that sounds like something you're interested in we'd love to have you join our YouTube family so in this video I will not be doing flip throughs but I will speak about each curriculum a little bit just to give you an idea of maybe why I chose the ones that I did and uh, you know how they will work so um, let's get started for the core of his language arts, um, we we prayed a lot and we looked through a lot of different curriculum. Um, I wasn't satisfied last year with what we used. We had used Harcourt language last year and uh, while I liked it, he didn't really grasp the information as well as what I wanted him to. And so I really don't think he got a good hold on language arts last year. Um, and I don't think we did so hot in kindergarten either. So um, <laughs> at first, you know, I, I felt like a total failure as a parent. But then I had to get over it because sometimes choosing homeschool curriculum can be trial and error. Sometimes you have to try something and, you know, if it doesn't work out, then we have to move on to something else. And every child is so different and our teaching styles may be different than what our child really needs for their education. So it is a bit difficult to find the exact curriculum for your child. And so um, I had to just chalk it up to a lack of experience and um, we learned a lot about each other in the last couple of years and so now I'm a bit more confident <laughs> about my choices. So uh, we're going to give the Critical Thinking Company a try and so this will be the core of our language arts program. This is Editor-in-Chief. This is the beginning series, beginning one and um, what he'll basically do I'm just going to show an example. I said I wasn't going to do a flip through, but what he'll basically do is um, he'll be reading stories and then he will select the correct answer based on whatever question it's asking, such as this one says, read the paragraphs and correct the verb tense errors. So we'll be able to go over what those things mean and then he will select the answers. And it does have a little bit of teaching in there, but it's not as textbook-ish as Harcourt was. And if you've been following our channel, then you know that we're relaxed homeschoolers. And so we really do not rely a lot on textbooks, although we use textbooks in our homeschool. We don't use them in a school kind of way, if that makes sense. Um, we use them more as, you know, loving books or... Um, just as examples and really not, you know, study, 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 um, such as a school at home approach. Um, so having said that, having already admitted to you that we have struggled in the area of language arts, that also means that we have struggled with our spelling as well with him. So this year I am incorporating an actual spelling curriculum rather than just taking spelling lists off you know the internet and creating a mess <laughs> that I had been doing the last couple years. Um, we are going to use Evan more this year 
This has a lot of activities in there that he already would enjoy doing. And so I think that this would really get his attention better than just write the word two times each. <laughs> that may work for a lot of kids. And I think it probably did for me as a child. Um, and that's why I chose that method with him in the beginning. But like I said, a hundred times, I'll say it again, every child is different and we can't expect our children to be the same as us. So, um, another thing that we're adding to our homeschool this year for both the kids um, is handwriting. I hadn't really used a handwriting curriculum. I had just, you know, had them copy Bible verses and things like that, which we will probably still continue to do this year. I'm not a hundred percent on that yet, um, but I'm pretty sure that we will still copy some Bible verses occasionally, maybe not every single day or every single week, but uh, we will still incorporate that most likely in our homeschool. But we are also going to be starting handwriting without tears. And so this is gonna be Joelle's and this is Printing Power. And so it's got a lot of activities in there as well. Not so much activities as copy work, but um, it looks like it would be more fun than what I have been doing. So, <laughs> All right. Next, we're going to talk about math. Now, if you followed our channel at all, then you know that we have used Horizons with Joel for both of the years that I've homeschooled him, kindergarten and first grade. And I love, love, love Horizons, okay? Um, however, at the end of last year, or somewhere about three quarters of the way uh, through our school year last time, um, I noticed some changes in his behavior. I noticed that he wasn't as into math as what he had been. And while that may just be him changing and growing up, I really didn't feel like it was, you know, mama's instinct kind of kicked in. And um, I realized that it wasn't catching his interest like it did before. So I'm going to go kind of opposite of what I had been doing with him. And honestly, I had bought another curriculum. I looked through it, I bought Singapore. And I looked through it. We're not going to use Singapore, though. <laughs> I did post a video showing a flip through of Singapore. Um, and I really liked their style. But there were just a couple of things about it that I felt like it wasn't going to work. So sometimes we just have to trial and error, like I said. Um, which we didn't really, you know, get into doing any of the worksheets. But... I looked through it and having taught him the last two years and you know um, helping him with his math I just didn't feel like it was a right fit for him although it's a wonderful curriculum and it's great for so many kids um, just like horizons was it's wonderful and I don't have anything bad to say about horizons I know probably a lot of people want me to you know tell a, a reason why we quit using it well my reason was he lost interest. My reason is that, you know, I don't think it's a good fit for him. It might have been in kindergarten. It might have been in uh, the beginning of first grade. But as math progresses, sometimes you have to change things around. So that's what we're doing. And I, I loved that it was so colorful. So I was looking for another math that was colorful like that. Um, but that would ease up on him a little bit because it was quite intense. And, you know, he's done well with grasping the concepts, but there was so much back and forth that sometimes it left, it left him confused. It left him confused. It left him frustrated. And, like I say, he was losing interest at the end. So what did we choose? We chose a life pack. And LifePack is from the same company that puts out Horizons. It's from Alpha and Omega Productions. Um, publications, sorry. Alpha Omega Publications, not Productions. <laughs> so, um, it's colorful, it's bright, just like Horizons was. It's less intense. And they spend more time on each topic. 
rather than jumping around from concept to concept the way that Horizons did. Horizons would have worked for me as a little girl, but it did not work for him. So, um, you know, sometimes that is, you know, everybody has a different way of thinking. Some people can focus on more than one thing at a time. Some people need to focus on one thing at a time and move on to the next concept. And he is kind of like that. So um, that's why I chose, um, sorry, sorry for shaking that around. That's why I chose Life Pack for him this year. And I'll be doing some flip throughs, like I said, if y'all wanna see any of this, but not today. Okay, next we're gonna talk about geography. Now, I am doing history with him, but we're gonna do it together. And so, I'm gonna talk about geography today, though. This is going to be his geography book. So, this is the DK Geography Learn and Explore Second Grade. And um, this is going, this is a workbook style learning. That's, that's what we do in our house. Uh, we don't use too much textbooks. We just use more workbooks and um, conversations and doing things on the chalkboard, kind of games and, you know, things like that on the chalkboard, not me standing there teaching and writing things down and then they copy it. No, no, no. <laughs> um, we are, we are so far away from school at home that it's unbelievable sometimes that we're actually doing homeschool. Um, this has like where you label the parts of the picture and things like that. It, uh, label the mountains and then you can label like the globe and learn what a globe is and all that good stuff. So uh, I'll be doing a flip through on that soon. And I thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope this has been helpful to you to see maybe what my second grader is doing. Like I've always said, don't choose curriculum just because I choose it or just because anybody chooses it for that matter. But choose it because you feel like it's best for your child because every kid is different. So uh, we have to make our choices based on how they learn best and also how we teach best and you know how we want to share information with our children. So thank you so much and go ahead and give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already and I thank you so, so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.